Hi, welcome to my craft studio. My name is Barb. I have a totally Tiffany order to share with you. I'm going to include this as part of my blogging troop, even though this product I did buy with my own money, so it is, it wasn't provided to me, uh, but I saw I would still unbox it and do a review. I love her little stickers when she replaces and orders because they're Happy Meal. She recently had a Friday flash sale. And she um, gave you 40% off one item. She included her little um, Love to Be Organized, which I have one of those already, and another catalog. This is the paper cart apron. It's to go on the paper cart that I have. I ordered a black one. I mainly chose black because it's the color I assigned to winter, and the cart that I'm going to use it on is kind of what I have all my Christmas and winter supplies on. So this is the cart, the apron. I'm going to stop the video and then I will get my cart out and I will show you how to put it on. Okay, this is the Totally Tiffany paper cart. I understand they have redesigned the cart just a little bit. Mine is the older cart. I think they have little brackets that you can put here and I think they've added more of those so that if you want to subdivide things off it's easier to do the way I use mine this I don't need those at all so let's turn this to the side make sure we're kind of in view oops I'm hoping this shows on camera because I can't see right now what's on screen so Velcro would you put over and attach sure that's still in screen before I do anything. Okay. I'm going to try and do it without stepping in front of the cart so that you can see. And this is a little Velcro loop here that you wrap around. I just want to see if there's another one of those. Oop, I think that's it. Then bring it this way. Turn it a little further. Hopefully I am in screen. Like I said, it's, it's hard when you can't see what you're doing on the camera. There's another little section here. Turn this side in. Loop it. This back. Oops. I'm sure she has a video about how to put this on and if she does I will find it and loop it and pin it into the video so you can find it link it okay there we go I think you can see what I'm doing now I do believe there's another yeah there is there's another velcro loop here I'm just gonna pull this off for a minute so I can attach that there there. And then do the same thing on this side. It just helps to slide one of those out. And then put that there. And I can put my paper handler back on there. My hands are bothering me so much today that this is, looks a lot harder than what it should. My hands are stiff and painful. And don't want to cooperate. Here's the problem. It's, it's hitting the one behind it. There we go. It's hitting the one behind it. So there. I'm going to show you. There's a pouch here. Here. And there's kind of a smaller one here. And then another one that kind of puffs out there. And then on the back side, you've got these. So you could hold something longer back there. I don't think there's anything there. No, there's not, but it, would work. it works fine like that. And then this side has much the same as the other side. I might try loading up those pockets with different things. 
and popping back on and showing you what I put in them. There, I'm hoping this works. This is the cart all loaded up. This is basically my Christmas supplies. I keep all my paper on the bottom of the cart. This is kind of my embellishments. It's got all my spinders, all my bind, my spinders in it that holds Christmas supplies. I've got winter and Christmas washi here and Christmas stamps here. There's a Christmas card making kit there. On this side, I stuck all my Tim Holtz tools and rulers. I stuck a happy planner here because I thought maybe I'd like to do something this size to write down my Christmas projects, what type of, you know, that I want to make. So, and then I put ribbon here. I don't have one of these. These are um, the Edna bags. Right now I don't have one for my Christmas ribbon, so I just stuck the red and green in here just to show you that you could slide something like that in there. On the back, I put a couple of my diamond dot that projects that I have that are Christmas themed. I stuck my We Are Memory Keepers laser tool here. This is the ruler part and this is the mat part. Um, you really could put so much different things in here. If you were using this as a paper cart and wanted it and you had like a Cricut, you could put your Cricut mats back here. And then on this side, I stuck my um, Totally Tiffany rotating design boards. This is the card size one, and this is the um, letter size one. I stuck my, um, I think there we are, Memory Keepers layering rulers here. And then there's a couple of Christmas coloring books and color stickers that you color right there. I just wanted to load it with kind of an assortment of Christmas stuff so you could kind of get an idea of how much it holds. Um, I do have another one of these paper carts right now that I use downstairs in my kitchen to hold my spices. I have totally, I have totally Tiffany um, four shelf desk made units and my spices, spice jars fit in those. But since I went on this um, Mediterranean diet, I've been buying more spices. So I want to get another one of her three tier carts and put that downstairs for my spices because I'm I've outgrown the two units and bring that one upstairs, the paper cart, and use it for my vinyl. So I want to get another one of these carts so that I can kind of load my weeding tools here and put cricket mats in the back and maybe my, um, I can't think of the name of it, my bright pad, you know, light, like a light board in it for when I weed so that all my, um, vinyl supplies are all in one place so when I want to do either an adhesive vinyl or an iron-on vinyl I can just wheel my card over and go. But the only thing that wouldn't be there would be my easy press which would be kept right where it currently is but I think I really like it. It seems very sturdy. I know the other aprons that she has which are made very similar are very sturdy and honestly depending on how full you want to fill them you can put a lot of stuff in there I tend to like to go a little less stuff because a I want to remember what's there and if I fill, fill them too full I won't remember <laughs> and B I just don't like how they look when they get really overstuffed but that's me I know some people don't mind that at all it's just me <laughs> it's personal preference so you can I mean you can load them as full or as you can go minimal or you can go, you know, maximum. But there really are a lot of little pockets that you can hold. Now this size, the little, the, where I have my tools, these are divided up so they're, they're actually kind of really designed for tools. So they'd be great for like your Cricut tools, your weeding tools, or, you know, scissors like that. But I do kind of like my scissors there, I have to admit. My Tim Holtz scissors and then those there. It really does hold a lot. I did do a review on just the cart. I will try to remember to put a little icon in there or a end, something at the end screen to show you the review of that. And I will also try to do the same thing with Tiffany's video on the cart. She might That might have even more ideals for what you can put in it 
I was just kind of trying to do a quick load up to show you what I may put in it. I don't know if all of this will stuff stay, will stay in here because like I said, I want to mainly keep it Christmas, but I wanted to load it up pretty good so you could see that it will hold a lot of stuff. I would give it a thumbs up. I Like I said, I plan to buy another one for my other cart, so I obviously like it. <laughs> um, the, the cart is really sturdy too and I you know like I said I did tell them you know, the review, review the wheels are really they're sturdier than most carts wheels and they do have the little locking mechanism so you can lock them into place so if, you, if your house is like mine and has uneven floors <laughs> you can keep it from rolling all around but I'll I will like I said be sure to link that be sure to check it out I will also put links in the description box of the apron and also the cart apron combo because if you don't have the cart she does sell them as a combo and she gives you a price break on that um, I don't know if HSN still has any available they did have it on the craft day in earlier this month but thanks for joining me I'll catch you next time